What's up guys, Thad, Jason from Sheffield Metals back with you today. We are gonna talk about the standard hip and ridge detail, the HR1 if you're following along in the Sheffield uh, installation manual. So Jason, talk us through the game plan first and then we'll go look at it on the actual roof deck. Okay, so we've made sure the deck is clean and ready for installation. We've, we've added the underlayment per the manufacturer's installation instructions. Uh, we've paneled the roof and now we're ready to cap off the top of the roof with hip or ridge. Uh, this means that Z closures will be installed with 3 16 by 7 8 inch butyl tape and attached at four inches on center with 10 by one inch pancake head fasteners. Uh, then we're gonna have to apply a vertical bead of sealant up and over the panel rib to seal off the sides of the Z closure. And then we will install the, the uh, ridge or hip cap. Install stainless steel pop rivets to the Z closure and then we'll remove all the Swore filings and debris uh, when we're all done. All right, and we already installed the RK1 rake detail, so this ridge flashing will go over top of that. Let's go check it out on the roof deck. We'll do that. Okay, so here we are at our mock-up with, we're gonna do the ridge assembly. So the rake's been installed, you can see. Panels are installed. We have the boxed ends on our panels that need to kick up 45 degrees uh, before you start installing your Z closure. So now that we have that, we need to, we're gonna put on our ridge. We need to know where the Z closures are gonna go. So we take our ridge flashing and you would either string a line or you can lay a flashing just where that wants to sit on top of your panels. And I typically just mark the ends to get a location for our Z closure. And we will cheat that back a little bit. But now we, have, now we have a mark for reference. Always put in any side Z closure first. So rake sidewalls should go in first and be higher than the Z closure for your ridge. Um, so we've, we've put the butyl tape on and we've marked out these Z closures. 3 16 by 7 8 inch butyl tape. Uh, we've marked our fastener holes for four inches on center typically one inch from your uh, end of your Z closure and then every four inches, four inches. So that goes in place and we have our mark there. And we meet our mark here and we're ready to fasten that down. So as we're attaching this, the reason we do a four inch fastener spacing for compression on your butyl tape. So butyl tape will be compressed to two inches from either side of your fastener. So if you go every four inches then you're getting full compression through your butyl tape. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get the rest of the Z closure on. And then the next step is to seal up and over our, our ribs with sealant, vertical sealant. Okay, so we've installed our Z closures now, uh, vertical sealant up and over the ribs. Uh, so we're gonna seal that off, up and over and back down. We just close off those sides there. All right, we're all sealed up there. Now, as you may see here, with the rake in place, we're gonna have to, the Z closure goes farther in and, is, and then we gotta get the ridge over the rake flashing. So we have cut the Z closure here at our rake line so that the ridge cap will go on top of the rake flashing. Take our ridge flashing, we hook that on. Get that into place, and then I will hook on the other side here. So our ridge cap is on, and now we are going to put an end cap to cap over our rake flashing. Uh, so we measure the face of our rake flashing, which is four inches, and I'm, I've marked my ridge now four inches back, and that's where I'm gonna 
tab down the face of this to end cap the ridge over the rake flashing. So you gotta notch through the hem right here. And then I just cut the top. Back to the four inch mark. I'm gonna fold this down. I'm gonna over break that a little bit. Over break that. We have our end cap. Okay, and now we're just gonna take our square, cut off that vertical tab down to our rake line. I'll peel the plastic and we'll get it on tight. Okay. So we got the uh, end cap on. Now a couple, couple of notes here. Typically we do not want a flashing, any flashing shorter than 24 inches. So you might have to cut your other piece down if if you're within like 18, 16 inches of, your, of the end of the flashing. So 24 inch flashing minimums, and then always remember your four inch laps with sealant in the laps. Now, uh, rivet attachment to finish this off is eight, we call it as 18 inches on center, but we also recommend center of panel. So you wanna be in the middle of your Z closure and not on the end of your Z closure where it's a little weaker. So we'll do center of every panel. Just like that, we'll, put, we'll do all center of every panel. And then you notice here, this is the swarf and uh, debris from drilling out your rivets. So you wanna get all that cleaned off the panel uh, so that it does not rust and affect your paint finish warranty. Okay, so this wraps up the HR1 ridge detail. Please go to sheffieldmetals.com to check out any other installation detail in our installation manuals. Thank you.